Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Man, are you kidding me? What a great day. This is exactly why we live in Florida. Blue skies, the birds are out, the water's calm. The only problem, I ain't catching no fish right here on this dock. You know what I need? I need to get out there. And I also need one of those kayaks. Let's go. Here we go, guys. So I need to kind of... <whistles> Captain on the brig, right? The first question is, Where's the motor? Oh, this is the motor. Actually, this is the motor with dual outboard. Man, this is a piece of cake, man. I'm out today with Mike Kogan, who is the founder of JacksonvilleKayakFishing.com. Mike, first of all, the differences between kayak fishing and the more traditional, I guess, fishing from a boat or from the shore? Well, in a kayak, you're really quiet, you're really close to the water, and you can really get down to the level of the fish and, and you know, be one with the fish as you chase them down. JacksonvilleKayakFishing.com. Tell us about what all type of types of information that someone will find there. Well, we provide everything you need to go fishing. Uh, we have information on where to launch maps that are brought to us by a local uh, group called Outfitters Mapping that can show you all the different creeks and launch places, where to park, how to get there, weather information, tide information. We've also got forums where people can talk about what they're going to do, meet up with people you want to fish with, brag about what you caught or didn't catch, depending on what Nobody lies, though, do they? No, not in fishing. Okay, right, right. <laughs> Mike, in conjunction with your website, JacksonvilleKayakFishing.com, you are now organizing some very exciting tournaments. Talk about them. Well, we had our first tournament last April. That was the Jacksonville Kayak Fishing Classic. Uh, we expected about 30 or 40 people to show up, and we ended up having over 100 paddlers in some really challenging conditions. And we're looking forward to running a few more events, some offshore events in the summer, and another big inshore event in the fall. If somebody wants to inquire or maybe even buy some equipment, where in the world do you go to get involved and get started in kayak fishing? Well, the, there's several places in town. Traditionally, you've used your outdoor outfitters, such as Black Creek, or a, a, a water sports store, such as All Wet Sports, or a Fort George Island Surf Shop. But now, your traditional fishing stores are carrying fishing-specific kayaks, such as Strike Zone Fishing and the Salty Feather. As you're in your kayak out fishing, what types of fish are we going for? Well, inshore, most people are looking for redfish, trout, flounder, and offshore, of course, there's the tarpon, kingfish, uh, jacks, uh, sheephead, and the kinds of things you catch at the jetties. Well, what happens when you hook up to one of those huge fish? You're going for the proverbial sleigh ride, <laughs> and that's what every yacker dreams about. For all of your kayak fishing information, visit jackskayakfishing.com, Jacksonville's kayak fishing community.